Take one. Say seven, take two. <laughs> um, <laughs> STEM's so important to young Australians, to children from kindy level all the way through their schooling and obviously further on because they are going to be using it in their future. I'm Riel Fowler, I'm the Year 1 2 teacher at Darren District High School. Employers are screaming out for critical thinkers and problem solvers. STEM is a vehicle to really promote those skills. My name's Michael Minson and I'm the Deputy Principal at Dowran District High School. Particularly out here in the agricultural area, more and more of the agricultural resources and equipment and technology is really developing really quickly. The demographic of the kids that we teach are probably a 50-50 split between farming families and town families who work in services that support the farming area. So it's definitely an agricultural focus. It's certainly what they aspire to be in the future themselves. My name's Caitlin Gillies. I teach at Meckering Primary School. I love teaching science. I dress up um, to teach science and the kids just get so engaged. It doesn't matter if we're only mixing water and oil together. It's the most amazing lesson. It's great. It's awesome. <laughs> So when I'm not teaching, I am socialising. Um, definitely in a country town, you, you have to get out and about. We've got the hockey ground, got the oval to kick the footy, have fun with the kids. As with any country town, the sport's a big feature on the weekends. My son started kindy at the school this year and he absolutely loves it, has some great friends. I actually met my wife when I was working in Muck and Boone. She's a local girl from out there. So she was excited to be coming back to the Wheat Belt because the childhood she had, that's the childhood she wants for our children. And that means that she can put up with me as well, so. I think all kids have a natural attraction to something that's new and something that's exciting. They're willing to try out different things. They're willing to make mistakes. And I think that makes STEM teaching a whole lot easier because they're willing to have a go.